It's a Beko WM5140W. Let's take it apart. So, motor controller is down here. Our motor pin out block. If you bend it up there, we can see it better. So, we've got an earth on the bottom, two yellows go to the tachograph down here, or the tachometer, or whatever you want to call it. You've got a black and a white, blue, black, and brown. So, this one, the black with the extra thick coating, goes to this brush. So I'm going to hazard a guess that the white one goes to the brush on the other side. Um, mostly because it goes into this little sleeve here and comes out the other side. Those three, I'll say they'll go into the windings. So to set this up, let's earth it because we have an earth to get rid of. Let's put... What's that? Live? Onto number five. That's one of the brushes. Let's put a jumper cable from one brush to another, or from, from one brush to a coil even. And then let's put the neutral onto another one of the coil taps. Let's see if it fires up. So if I bring in a socket, let's turn it off first, plug it in, turn it on, and it's off. And that's how you wire them. Pretty simple. Different combinations of the winding taps will give you different speeds. So it might be worth trying a different one. So let's plug it out. Let it calm down again. See if it sounds louder on a different one. I think that sounds a bit louder. So we'll leave it at that. I was going to make a point that these two spade connectors being so close to one another is a chance that they'd arc or something like that, but they're on the same cable anyway, so it's completely pointless. It'll work fine. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to put a cable tie to hold this on tight here somewhere, maybe down here, and that's it, ready for it to go. So isolating it from the supply again, I'm going to get a cable tie on here to stop these cables getting pulled away. Push that block back down there. I'll pass the cable out the back. And that ought to do it.
so it's a Beko WM5140W and just as the motor starts spinning down we'll take a look at the damage from that pretty good failure I gotta say motors there just spinning down didn't even stop during the process just got such a thunk that something caused the belt to come off which is over there I've righted the washing machine so it's upright again I've taken the ballast out as well I put it over there for safekeeping um, it's isolated from the supply I hope yeah plugged out so front still goes around good sign it'll go again what else can we have a look at any of the damage here the tub plastic bit has shattered in a pre pretty peculiar way it's jumped off both springs. One is still here, the other shot off and went over there beside that bicycle, which is about two meters or something, but I think when I saw it, it went way up in the air, and that won't be on the camera. But we'll be able to see it. The other thing that happened immediately was that the top flew off, which was pretty scary, I gotta say. So the top of the machine must have jumped upwards or something. Let's have a look inside. It's made shreds of these washing paddles. And it's put a big dint in there. Look at that! Big gouge in the, t in the drum. It looks like it's wow! It's got a big gouge the whole way around. It looks like it will spin again. Might get all those bits out and try it again. Get the springs back in. So, just for purposes of science and whatnot, I've put it all back together. It's been pulverized inside by its own ballast but I'm going to try it again with a lighter weight brick just to see what happens probably not much but we'll give it a go It blew the fuse, it blew the top off, it kind of jammed it somehow. Let's take a look. So over here we still have power but it tripped the overloading switch, it tripped the MCB, miniature circuit breaker, so it had an overload of power. Now it's only on 5 amps, so let's isolate it from the supply before we take a look. Looking at it, whoa! It completely tore the tub apart. Wow! It's completely seized. This is never going to run again. Wow, there's no amount of force going to make that go around. The belt is still on it. It's ooh, smashed down on the motor there. It's jumped off the springs again, of course. Well, actually, you could hook it on there. The, the hook is still on it, but wow, that plastic's in bits and the front to the back and whatnot. It's not going to go together. Bits of plastic all around, there and there, a bit over there. The spring's gone over there, just in the center. Let's tip it up and have a look at this motor. So I have a suspicion the motor will still run. out actually let's have a look yeah you can, whoa it chewed through wow it absolutely smashed through the drum into the tub there it's got bits tangled up on both sides so it was just a catastrophic failure there wow and it's all well it's the front of the back of the tub separated so yeah this one won't work again that's for sure yikes right down here, I have a suspicion now that motor is still okay. It doesn't even seem to have taken much abuse. I know it got a fairly hot supper there, but if we get this belt off, we can't turn it anymore, so we just gotta pe peel it off like that. Yep, that's it off. I have a suspicion that this motor will run again, apart from everything else being cream crackered. So let's get the power back on. Turn that one back on. Yep, sounds good. And it will just power up forever because there's 
So all in all for this Beko, pretty poor end. Got two shots, failed miserably at both of them. Entertaining nonetheless. Thanks for watching, give us a like, please subscribe for more videos like this. Check out my other videos, I've got loads of other videos of doing similar nonsense to this kind of thing. And if you want to hit me up on Patreon with a few quid, that'd be great. So, thanks again for watching. See you later.